hey everybody welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to professionally color grade dark scene tones in photoshop using the camera raw filter option so the first step you are going to do is to prepare your image for color grading and there are two ways to do that one you can either duplicate the image so you work on double layers or you can convert your image into a smart object or keep it on rasterized that way the effects and all the adjustments that you will be doing won't affect the image directly and in this video i'm going to duplicate the image by pressing on ctrl plus j on my keyboard or command plus j if you are on mac and the next thing you need to do is to open our camera raw filter option so select the image the duplicates or one of them and then head over to the filter option here and then click on camera raw filter now when you get here when you get to this part come down to this guy right click on it and then select the second option here which says before and after left right so select that one and then you are going to get a duplicate of the image itself this way you can compare whilst you are color graded and so you are going to get before and then after so you can do the comparison here and the first thing you need to adjust is the overall exposure and then normally you would realize that dark skin tones often reflect light differently so if the image is underexposed you might lose some details so come to basic all right and then come to the exposure um, option here and then move the slider a little bit like this to somewhere here this is good all right now what the this does is that it reveals the natural details of the picture and then the next thing you're going to do is to adjust the contrast to add more depth so hold the contrast slider and then move it a little bit like this to somewhere here okay and i think this is good for me let me keep it here all right now you can play with the highlights and then shadows and lowering the highlights prevents the bright spots from blowing out and so I will reduce the highlights all the way to negative 100 so that we will take away the bright spots. All right. And then I will increase the shadows to um, something like this. Okay. And what the shadows does is that it recovers the details in the darker areas of the skin. And so I'm going to keep it somewhere um, here. This is good. And then finally, I will reduce the whites and increase the blacks to balance the image also. And so I'm going to move the whites all the way to minus 100. And then increase the black a little bit like this. It's okay for me. Good. The next thing to do is to um, fix the overall color balance of the image. And one thing you need to know is that sometimes dark skin tones can look too cool or too warm and it all depends on the lighting and so what we are going to do is to adjust the temperature slider this is the temperature slider click and hold the slider and then adjust it a little somewhere like this is okay um all right i'll keep it here and adjust the tint slider as well so let's move the tint slider to this place is also cool and now you can see that the picture is gradually transformed if you should compare the before to the after you will realize that there is a big difference going on here and that's basically the aim right now the next thing is to add some texture clarity and dehaze to the picture so come to texture and then leave the texture as it is you can choose to increase it or decrease it it's your choice but then i'm going to maintain the texture like this and adjust the clarity to add a touch for definition and so i'm going to move the clarity a little bit like this and you should be very careful here because increasing the clarity too much can make the picture look harsh and so a little move of the clarity is good now let's adjust the dehaze slider all right all the way to um something like this to add richness to the photo good now that we are done doing basic adjustments we'll go ahead and then do some curve adjustments as well so come to the curve option here and then we are going to adjust the curve 
panel. So first, select the point curve here. You are going to see so many options here. Select the point curve. Now after selecting the point curve here, we come down and then you make a slight S curve. And so this is what I mean. Lift the shadows slightly to keep details in darker areas showing. This is the shadow. This part is the shadow. All right, so you are going to lift it slightly. A little bit like this. Not too much, but something like this is okay for me. So that the details in darker areas will be showing. And then you pull down the highlights a little bit just to avoid any shiny skin. Right, so like this is okay for me. Good. Now let's move on to the next thing. The next thing you are going to do is to add some color to our photo. So come to the color mixer option here. And then come here and then click on this drop down arrow and then select each SL. It stands for hue, saturation and then luminous. And this is one of the most important parts. And after selecting the HSL, you will click on the hue and then you carefully adjust the orange and red channels since they directly affect the skin tone under the hue. And so you click on the red slider then you move it a little bit like this, not too much. You don't want the skin to look very reddish. So somewhere here, um, it's okay. Within the 20 range, it's okay. And then let's come to the orange and then decrease the orange to, to something like this. Okay, this is good for me. Now let's come to the saturation aspect. Now, if the skin of the picture you are color grading is too dark, then you can increase the orange saturation slightly. But if it's too red, then you can reduce the red saturation. So this is what you are going to do. You are going to increase the reds to somewhere like this. Um, okay, this is good. A little. Alright, this is good. And then come to the orange. And also move it. Okay, this is too much. Like this. This is awesome for me. And then we are going to add a touch of yellow to it. Not too much, but just few or just a slight move. Alright. Now let's come to the luminance options also. And then the luminance, what the luminance does is that it controls the brightness of specific colors and so when you increase the luminance it makes the skin glow and then when you reduce it so it gives a deeper tone but for dark skin um, tones like this a balanced luminance keeps the skin rich and not too flat and so what we are going to do is to just do a little adjustment like this and then come to the oranges also and then let's so not too much somewhere here is okay okay no 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 all right i'll keep it at seven good all right now that we are done with this we are going to head over to the um effects and then calibration so come to effects all right and then we are going to add slight vignetting to the picture and this is going to help draw the viewer's eyes towards the face all right so you come to effects and then you come to vignetting and then you can adjust it like this not too much but this is okay all right now let's let's come to calibration all right so now we have calibration and then come to blue primary and then let's increase the saturation let's so this is too much mm, okay this is good and then let's come back to details all right and then let's add some sharpness to it not too much but at least to this level is okay all right and let's click on this guy wow and then you can see that our image actually transformed this is the before and this is the after so what we are going to do is to click on okay good and we are going to see this that this is our picture 
this is the before this is the before and this is the after now we are not done the next thing we are going to do is to you realize that after color grading the color of the eyes has changed from white to bluish and we don't want that to happen and so what we are going to do is to we are going to um whiten the eyes and then make it look natural all right so the first thing you're going to do is to come to this guy here click on it to create a new layer and then come here and then change your foreground color to white and then click on ok and then grab your um brush tool all right make sure you select the hard round brush and then you decrease the size because you are going to paint the eyes so you decrease the size and then you start to paint the eyes the white um area like this you need to be careful so you don't do anything messy okay now let's come to the other side like this take your time good great now we are done painting our eye but you could see that it's not looking real or it's not realistic so what we are going to do is that we are going to change the blend mode to select the layer that you created and then come to the blend option and then change it to color good and you could see that the eyes is looking more realistic than it was before so we are done color grading our picture if you find this video helpful like this video smash the subscribe button because if you don't subscribe you are not going to see this channel again and so subscribe to the channel like drop your comment so until i come away with another video peace and stay out of trouble